Do you remember the first time you met Eminem? Do you remember your first impression of him? First time I met Eminem. Holy shit. Uh, It was in Japan on on his tour. We were opening for him. Mm -hmm. It's my first time meeting him. And it was kind of indirect because uh, we couldn't get near him at that time because we didn't really know him. Mm -hmm. So he was like boxed in in his own private sections. Um, White privilege. Yeah, it was definitely whiteprivilege.com <laughs> going on. But uh, the thing that was cool is uh, late at night, we were in Japan, so they had Yakuza mm-hmm. protecting us. Like, we had real Yakuza outside our doors. But after 2 a.m., they dispersed. So I was sharing a room at that time with Young Buck. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Oh, man. That doesn't sound too I good. I know, it sounds kind of scary with all the shit going on. Okay. It didn't touch my ass. Let's, let's <laughs> make that shit clear. I didn't see any <laughs> tranny stuff. I didn't see a skirt or panties or whatever. Young Buck was cool. But Young Buck thought he was in jail. Like, he would, like, take a shit and leave the door open. What? And talk to me while he's shitting. I'm like, yo, bro, we're not in jail. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then, then he would, like, literally, like blast music where the speakers are like out of here like mm. you know when you blast the shit where sure. you're not supposed to go that high but he goes over it like max volumes out of here so i'm just like yo i can't stay in a room with this guy he smokes weed non-stop shitting like it was crazy so i begged sean money excel mm. can i stay in your room meanwhile i begged him i said i'll give you my per diem whatever i just i'll sleep on the floor so i started sharing a room with sean money mm. and meanwhile everybody's there d12 proof Everybody's down the hallway, you know. It, it, it was like a normal tour. Then all of a sudden, two o'clock in the morning, I called some Japanese bitches to come to fuck me and Shot Money XL, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is some fucked up shit, yo. Know? So one of them spoke English, the other one didn't. Mm. But it didn't matter because they're groupies because of the Eminem tour. Sure, they didn't sure. even know who Fifty Cent was or G in it. They just wanted to fuck us because we're on the Eminem shit. It wasn't that big at that time. No, we were opening acts. Okay. So these bitches come, and then I met them, I guess, outside the show or whatever. They were online. I told them, yo, come. And, we, and then I just explained to them just to fuck. Like, I just want to fuck. Like, so they understand fuck and, yeah. you know, suck and all this sucky, sucky. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> so one of them come, and I think uh, I told her that I had a big okichinko when J- Japanese means I have a big dick. I wanted mm. to make sure that. She was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I want to check it out, yeah. So I introduced him to Shao Money, and then <laughs> I wanted to do Shao Money, but one of them was like, I don't know. But she said it in, in Japanese that, you know, Shao Money's a weird-looking guy. Yeah. Plus, he was fat like hell yeah, back yeah. then, too, so she didn't want to smash him. So I told I told Shao Money that she was on her period, so Shao Money don't get mad or fuck up my fuck shit. Mm. So I, t- I tried to get the girl to leave, like her friend, so I could just fuck her. I'll fuck her in front of Sean Money. Because sure. Sean Money be s- snoring and sleeping. Like, you can shoot a gun in there. He ain't waking up. Mm. I can fuck a girl in the ass. He ain't waking up. Like, <laughs> screaming, rape, whatever. He ain't waking up. So the bitch didn't want to leave. I was like, all right, I'm going to fuck you in front of him. And you. Like, both of them. So I started fucking her, and we all went to sleep. So we all leave our doors open on tour. So all of a sudden, this bitch is like sleeping on the couch, and she said the door opened, and somebody with a gun started shooting mm. like a silencer the at fuck? at 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 the like just start shooting the silencer, but it went through the drapes. She faints, mm. she fainted. Like mm. so, we're sleeping. We don't know what's going on. We don't know. We don't know what the fuck happened. Blah blah blah. So this bitch wakes up from her faint <laughs> and grabs her friend. He's screaming in Japanese, da, 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 like screaming like crazy. So the bitch wakes me up. She's like, yo, I don't know. Somebody tried to kill you. <laughs> shooting, shooting, shoot. I was like, what? What are you talking about? Yeah, Salasa, shooting, Salasa. I was like, what are you talking about, yo? So I wake up Shot Buddy, and then Shot Buddy's like, yo, what the fuck are you talking about, yo? So I was like, yo, I think somebody's trying to kill us. Is the 50 Cent got beef out here? Because we, we're coming from all the 50 Cent beef. I'm thinking that somebody paid somebody in Japan to try to kill us. We did have beef in the after party like two days ago. Maybe they're coming after us. I looked in the hallway. There's no Yakuza. So I'm thinking that this is a setup. So first thing me and Shaw Money did, we called the cops. We mm. called the police. So the police came to fucking... Like, just to do an investigation, like, to check what the hell's going on. Japanese niggas is like, what the fuck? What are y'all talking about? Mm. But there were, like, holes in the fucking drapes. You know what I'm saying? So, we're like, 
We put the report in. I think somebody's trying to kill us. I think they thought I was 50 Cent. I, I, I don't know if I do look like 50. Maybe, I don't know, with oil or some shit. I don't know. Maybe I kind of look like the nigga. But I thought maybe they thought they, I was 50. They were trying to kill me. So all of a sudden, this is like days go by. Like we're all scared on the road. So I, I finally see Eminem. He was at like fucking like game rooms and shit on tour. Like he's rich as fuck. So he had like tennis courts. Like it's not normal with him. He had like a game. Like it was like a little baby great adventure mm. at every venue. You know what I'm saying? So now he finally comes in and he's doing ping pong with us. He talk, He don't bring up shit. He's just talking, chopping it up with us, laughing with us. And then we're st- we're talking about like we almost got killed the other day. So he's like laughing. He's like, word, get out of here. So he's just chilling. So two days go by again. And I happen to just go out to get a drink like 2 o'clock in the morning, like 2, 3 in the morning. I went, I went out to get a drink. Now I see fucking Eminem with fucking, like he had like, <laughs> it was crazy. He had like a fucking, I don't know if it was a ninja mask or some shit, but he had the gun. But the guns in Japan look so realistic. Like that's why they're illegal. To, you can't bring them back here. Mm. They look so realistic that kids would get killed for them. He would like kick the door in. He kicked fucking proof the proof door in. RIP DJ, uh, mm. RIP proof. He kicked the door in and starts shooting inside the shit. He looks at me and he just walks back to his room. And he don't even like he don't say nothing. I'm like, yo, this guy was literally across from our room. Like he, he his room was literally across from Shaw Money's room. He never came out to say it was him. He let the police investigation go down. <laughs> He's looking out the window, watching us like cry and fucking be worried. And this is like three, four days in. This motherfucker. What's and, the matter with him? And then, and then that's what started our relationship because there was only one time. He's he's laughing at us and he can't believe it that we even like he he got us into his world and then he just started hanging with us. That's how we just all started getting cool, mm. you know. And then, and then, and I think I only went to like one club with him. He came to like one after party, and then and then after that we just been cool ever since. But that was the, the first time that I had any kind of like in depth interaction with him. And then we started becoming friends because you know that's a very tight niche crew to be down with. You can't like enter that yeah sure sure it yeah. takes it takes a while so like the same seven people that hang with him